It gives me a little bit of a reassurance that the the day-to-day -day problems that clinicians are seeing, like myself in the in GB, uh, relate to what the regulator is trying to um, control and work with uh, workplaces to try to prevent ill health. So I guess it allows me also to keep abreast of um, new and changing occupational exposures and perhaps new issues that we perhaps hadn't, hadn't considered. The communication with, with patients who have been workers, they have a totally, totally different perspective on breathing problems than I do. Their, their perceptions are very different, their understanding about breathing problems is very different. Some will be very keen to explain to me how they believe their workplace is the entire problem. Others are much more balanced in their views about that. And others may have never even thought about the workplace uh, being, a, being a cause or contributing to their breathing problems. And I think there is a lot of qualitative information as well as the quantitative research that we primarily carry out that also assists us understand what's going on there. There are lots of different ways in which we identify that new knowledge, new scientific evidence is needed. So sometimes that will be because there has been um, somebody killed at work, somebody who has been maimed, somebody who has um, developed serious ill health problems. And that will trigger um, identifying that we need to better understand what is happening. And something else that's really important is the work of our Foresight Centre. Um, HSE is very much a forward-looking enabling regulator. And things like technological innovations, changes in the working world, demographic change, all mean that as well as the current health and safety problems, we will be taking foresight approaches to understand what are the new health and safety challenges that the regulator needs to be prepared for. For our science to have an impact on the safer working uh, lives, we need to be translating that scientific evidence into information that is accessible for policy colleagues and for workplaces. So quite often what will happen is that we will be publishing for the scientific community in a peer-reviewed journal, but then that same information will be underpinning new advice or new guidelines or indeed new guidance that has been produced by the Health and Safety Executive for industry and for workers. There's always um, upfront a lay person's um, interpretation, you know, it's a piece, an abstract written for the lay person. Um, and it's true, in my opinion, that if you truly understand what it is that you're proposing, you should be able to write it in a more simplified manner. Um, personally, I, I thoroughly enjoy that, and I also try very hard because I do consider it to be extremely important that lay people understand what it is that we're doing, often with uh, publicly funded work anyway.